you know it's true. There's something very, very, very funny about looking at why somebody hated a technology from 20 years ago, okay? There's something about it that just tickles our fancies. We all do, okay? Why do I hate Java shit? Okay, this is from, remember, this is 2000. And six, okay? There's something that's funny about it, okay? 2006 joke was Java shit, okay? Warning. Java shit is switched uh, on in your browser. Switch it off immediately. <laughs> you can't, like, I don't think I can read the site. <laughs> it, or it hits me with the Java shit. That's pretty funny. The alert box? Dude, the alert box just hit me with that? Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, anyways, 2006 JavaScript. So remember, we're adopting the opinion of 2006. We're going to read this, okay? So just to give you context, in 2006 is when my life effectively turned around and I was learning Java. D uh, Ditel and Ditel Java, okay? It's when I started learning recursion for the first time, and I was very, very under many times of difficulty, okay? I didn't even have JSPs, okay? At this point, I was Java 1.5, if I'm not mistaken. It was hard. All right, Java shit crushes my browser. Yes, it's the latest version of Netscape Communicator from the inventor of Java shit for, for, for my platform, Linux for alpha processors. It does not happen with all the pages, let's see, it does not happen with all pages with Java shit contents, but it is annoying enough when it happens on some of them. I want control over my browser. I don't want windows popping up all over my screen faster than I can close them. I do want to have means to close them without the title bar. That can be difficult, uh, sometimes difficult. In the good old times, when I wanted to check data on some commercial product, I could use Google to find the data sheet page. <laughs> Unfortunately, when brain dead webmasters took over web pages and contaminated then with Java shit, su such pages are no longer indexed by the web search engines. Why have those empty headed webmasters not been fired for the great mystery or is a great mystery? Hell yeah. Webmasters. Uh, we actually call them web mains today, okay? Times have changed 2006, okay? <laughs> yeah, these old, these old boomers. It happens to me uh, when I travel that I have access only to pure text terminals. Okay, that was actually a, a pretty real problem in 2006. Most people did not have a, t uh, a smartphone in 2006. If I'm not mistaken, it was over 90% of people were still on f like flip phones slash uh, text only phones. Those kids that have seen nothing but windows in their lives cannot possibly imagine that. <laughs> Absolutely. But it is possible, at least it used to be, to browse the internet on such terminals. People used links. Dude, I still can't. Dude, links is still mentioned. Links mentioned. Links mentioned. Imagine how many people still use links today. I still get people being like, ah, you just use links. I do that also on graphical display terminals when I want to save time and space. No graphics is needed. No graphics is needed to access, e.g., railway timetable. At least I don't need any graphics for that. Webmasters apparently do. They use Java shit to enhance it. I want security. Okay, that's okay. This is actually a little bit more fair. Okay, this is a bit more fair at this current point, especially e.g. when I access my bank account, but bank webmasters prefer Java shit. The use of Java shit is never necessary. Never. I cannot think of a single application in 2006 that could ever be created. Web pages should be prepared in such a way that they could be displayed in, on any browser. If the page has something valuable to offer that requires some special software, it should not influence parts that have nothing to do with it. If you make a menu in the form of a picture, you should also provide a textual equivalent somewhere else. There is no reason to make menus in Java shit. Wait, was this the first man to argue accessibility? Is this what's happening right now? Is this what's happening? Was he really... The first, the first accessibility user. I'm pretty sure this, this is what happened. I, you know, based. I think we're based. I think we're actually based. The man was arguing for semantic HTML in 2006. If only we would have listened to him. Instead, took decades, actual decades. Java shit is not portable. <laughs> Node was invented shortly after. Okay, very shortly after. It is interpreted in various ways by browsers. While testing this page, I got various results with various browsers. Some empty-headed web admins are aware of the fact, so they require the user to only use blessed browsers, i.e. 
Microsoft IE. Blessings be upon you and your family forevermore. And sometimes Netscape was sufficiently high version number. And of course, only with Java shit switched on. Normal users are told to go away or download the latest micro dollar IE. There is no Microsoft IE for any platform I use. If there were one, I would not use it anyways. <laughs> Hero Energy, this man did not eat a single bite of quiche in a long time. I guess some things never change. <laughs> Java shit lovers spread lies about their beloved language. Ooh, ooh, I don't even want to look at it. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They say JavaScript programs can check the data in forms so that it is safe. I can save their pages, modify their programs, compromise their security. Dude, front-end validation? Dude, they were going with front-end validation in those days? What is this? This lie is dangerous because people tend to think that they can forget about Perl scripts on the server side. <laughs> yes. Yes. Perl scripts. Recently, phishing attacks based on scripts became popular. Classic Perl scripts. Imagine forgetting Perl on the server side. Lamau. They say that people love when they lose control over their screen. What? Who says this? If someone wants a window in a particular size, most window managers, even Windows, lets the user change that size freely. If someone wants to see another page in another window, as opposed to the same window, using the middle mouse button or something more elaborate on Windows should do the trick. It is quite annoying to see new windows open when we don't want that. You lose control. They say that all you have to do is download the newest version of some Microsoft product or Netscape. They even have a campaign. Sick! Okay, please tell me this still exists. I was hoping it would be a video with Steve Ballmer. Okay, I was hope really, I was hoping it would be a, a, a I, was, I was really hoping it was going to be a, a video with Steve Ballmer. Okay. <laughs> now that you got a Windows machine! I was pretty good at it. Um, anyways, to make all web pages inaccessible to anyone but Microsoft slaves in double in a double speak, they call it enforcing web standards. Fortunately, there is another campaign to make web pages usable to anyone. I don't want to for let's see, I don't want to be forced to use any Microsoft software. Let's see, and I do use the latest from Netscape on my platform. Okay, okay. So what's the, what's the deal? Isn't that an, is isn't that just allowed? What's the argument now? Now I'm confused. I don't want to be forced to use any Microsoft uh, software, and I do use the latest from Netscape on my platform. I do not solve problems with Java shit. In addition, the newer software you use, the more problems you have. All software producers follow the example of Microsoft, and they let users do the testing. I mean, he's like not wrong that that still happens today. Bro cooked in 2006. Dude's still running pure HTML in production in 2024. I know. I'd love to hear this person's opinion. Today, Jan Dusiak. Dusiak. Uh, the newest so called stable version of one browser I tried recently for the Intel platform <laughs> crashed or hanged so frequently that I find it simply unusable. Java shit is, a shi uh, is officially called JavaScript. Can there be anything worse than Java shit? Yes, there can. The answer is Necro Media Flush the Toilet. <laughs> you know, I feel like his first, his first insult of, of, of Java shit was pretty good, but I feel like this one was a bit it was <laughs> NFT. Wait, you're oh my gosh, it's an NFT, dude. The man is not only calling testing but NFTs as well. This was so 2006. Why? While Java, while with JavaScript, you can at least analyze the code that uh, to follow links with Necromedia Flush, you only get a message to download the absolute newest version of the toilet. He's actually not wrong on this one. I mean, other than, the, other than its nickname not being as good, he was right. Dude, he is a prophet. This man's a prophet. At least with Conquer. <laughs> Conquer. <laughs> Man probably even has Barrel. Uh, you can switch Java shit off for individual pages. With ne Necromedia Flush, you have to deinstall it. Isn't it uninstall? Uh, the toilet... Or the toilet frequently ignores switching off, playing, and looping the animations from its own menu. Moreover, it is possible to modify the menu so that the options of switching off, the play, and looping do not appear on it. Conquer? Wow. Conquer? Wow. He is polished, bro. Let him have it, dude. This man is polished. 
Human computer interaction studies show that people are annoyed by animation, animated banners and that animation is a clear indication where to, uh, not to look. If only that were true today. Now now it's just like everything is crazy. Everything has animations. Everything is a short. And that people try not to look at all at the area where it happens. This is probably the reason why empty-headed web admins love the toilet. For JavaScript lovers, click below to leave. You fool! How did you know I would do it? How do you know I will do what you want? <laughs> Got him. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude, he just did. <laughs> he got had. What if you do it again? Just opened up another one? Does it just open up another one now? Oh, nice. It just opens up other ones. Let's take a little quick lo look at what kind of JavaScript we got going on here. What, what do we got for JavaScript, huh? What do we got here? Oh, we got some tables. Oh, we got some tables. Oh, we are looking thick. We got some tables. We got some content. Document BG color equals light green, you fool. Open window shit.html based artisanal HTML. This is some artisanal HTML. Uh, you know, it's funny. Life has not really changed, has it? We're pretty much in the same place we've always been. I guess that means we know what's going to happen in the next 20 years. We're still going to be using React. The name is. I'm going to go learn React now. A gen.